into energy. We want to get robots to turn biomass into electricity. Now, yes, student, the students use these design strategy organs creating little wow. clocks and strange lamps with an appetite for insects. Very clever. So where do ideas for these come from? Like nature, specifically organisms of plants, various methods for carnivorous ones, often looking attractive, flying insects, and then capturing them. <laughs> Consuming each of those energies. And it's all thanks to something very clever called a microbial fuel cell. This in those that we want to get for inspiration. The insect munching furniture are lost to short and they have to top up their diet with a bugger to me. This is the flight thanks to something very clever called a microbial fuel cell. The flies turn that sort of inspire Jesus' nitrogen. So when the Thanks fly lands on the cluster, we want to get robots to have a sheet of fly paper, which is revolving around two two rollers, one at the top and one at the bottom. The flies get stuck to the fly paper, preserve over the blade, which strikes them off. They fall into the nose cell, and this generates electricity to turn a small motor carrying the rollers. Thanks to something very clever called we want to get robots to turn a fly into a buzz of electricity. The solution comes from some inventive minds at the Bristol Robotics Laboratory. We want robots to be able to get their own energy from the environment. Now, animals already become this proposition of animals. We want to get robots to be massed up, and they turn that stuff off of biomass into energy. We want these robots to turn biomass into electricity. And robots are powered by flies. That could just take off. So let's meet the fly-powered EcoBot, and it's all thanks to something very clever called a microbial fuel cell. This is a microbial fuel cell. What we use is bacteria and food. And the bacteria munch away one for one. And we steal the electricity and electrons inside of the bacteria. Some of them, we manage to steal those, and then those electrons and electricity is what powers the robot. We want to get robots. Eight dead flies in the microbial fuel cell makes it work for about 12 And thanks to something we call science to Professor Meluish, maybe one day this will be an amazing renewable energy source. Insects might be powering more than robots and clocks in the future. Because after all, there's never any shortage of flies. Bacteria much and we steal the electricity electrons inside of the bacteria. We manage to steal those and then grow something and electricity It's made up of the and yeah. thanks to something we call thanks to Professor Mel, you wish maybe one day this will be an amazing robot renewable like energy source. Insects might be powering more than robots and clocks in the future. Because after all, there's never any shortage of flies. like a real bird, but it's actually a flying robot modelled after a gull. It lifts off, flies and lands autonomously. Instead of using fuel, it can propel itself with its wings, which twist as they flap to make use of airflow. Its flight path is controlled from the ground in real time, and its head and tail act as rudders. Yes. 
access for the ability to the possibility of civil unions itself to making sure that they have this may look like a real bird it's actually a flying robot modeled after a gull it lifts off flies and lands on some of the instead of using fuel it can propel itself with its wings which twist the big flap to make use of airflow its flight path is controlled from the ground in real time and its head and tail act as rudders to steer the robot. This energy is designed to be used to make devices that are not in the
It lifts off, flies, and lands autonomously. Instead of using fuel, it can propel itself with its wings, which twists as they flap to make use of airflow. Its flight path is controlled from the ground in real time, and its head and tail act as rudders to steer the robot. This energy efficient design could be used to make devices that harness energy from the sun. Thanks to something very clever. We want to get robots that use animals now to eat stuff. And they turn that stuff we call the biomass into energy. We want to get this. Thanks to something very clever. We want to get robots that use animals now to eat stuff. And they turn that stuff we call the biomass into energy. Do you have any idea how crazy you are? You mean the nature of this conversation? I mean the nature of you.